everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to print a collagraph onto damp paper that's been prepared with a watercolor stencil. Now, I've already prepared my printing paper with my watercolor. So I had a stencil that I created, and I used that to isolate the little disc of color. You want to make sure that your watercolor is completely dry before you begin. Now I've got a casserole dish right here, and I'm just going to add a glass of water to it. And I'm going to put one of my, my pieces of paper into that water. Make sure you push down over the surface so that the paper sinks in. All right, so now our next step, and you want to have everything prepared when you put that paper in the water. Your next step is to charge your roller. So I put out a little pea-sized glob of paint onto my inking slab. And with my brayer, I'm just rolling over the relief surface of my collagraph. And this collagraph is just a disc of tin foil that I glued down to the inside of a box of baby crackers. Okay, and I cut the collagraph out because I want to be able to line it up with the stencil on my paper. Have a scrap sheet of paper underneath your collagraph plate while you're inking it up. That will protect your printing surface. When you're printing with damp paper, and I'm going to move this dish out of the way. When you're printing with damp paper that has some watercolor on it, you don't want the paper to soak too long, or else the watercolor is going to lift off. Okay, so it's been about two minutes since I put it in, so I lift it up. I let it drip dry over that Pyrex container so that, you know, the big drops of water come off. And then I'm setting it inside of a kitchen towel. Fold the towel over, gently blot it dry. And now you're ready to print. Now the reason that you might want to print on damp paper is so you can get more sensitive results with your collagraph. So I'm laying my collagraph face down onto my paper and because the paper is thick, it's not going to stick as well to my printing paper so I'm very careful to keep my hand trained on the collagraph plate while I flip it over so that I can print the back of the paper. And I'll be printing with my spoon and I'll be pushing the back of the paper onto the surface of my collagraph plate. If your tabletop is not clean, you would want to have a scrap sheet of paper underneath your this uh, print as you're pulling the impression. Otherwise, you're going to end up you know, with dirty, dirty spots in your negative space. So after rubbing over the entirety of your collagraph plate, you could peel off the print very gently, just as I did, to make sure that you've covered all corners of your image. And now I've got something that I can work with and continue to print on. I think I'll do a little bit more watercolor. I'll add some of my eraser stamps, maybe down here to activate that negative space and just experiment with this image. While I have my materials out, I'll go ahead and print my next image, and it's really, really quick. So that demo, the first part took me four and a half minutes because I was talking the whole time. So now I'll be quiet, and you'll see exactly how long it takes to pull an impression.
Remember when you pull your paper out, let it drip. Okay, so that took about a minute and 20 seconds. So this paper soaked even less than that first piece of paper. And my results, they are slightly different. I didn't get quite as much darkness around the edge. And that's a combination of not having as much ink on my slab when I rolled over my plate. It's also not using enough pressure because I see over here that I have that nice dark sort of ring around my moon but over here that that ring is missing so I think I just uh, missed that part of the plate because it is present in this first image. All right so that's damp printing. Uh, you can soak your paper that has watercolor on it but remember don't soak it for long. One to two minutes tops is really all you need to get a good impression from your collagraph.